Good morning, guys. The post office just called. It's six o'clock in the morning, and we are on our way to pick up our chicks. They our, are our broilers. Our broilers, Cornish cross. Forty-eight chickens. Yes, forty-eight of them, and I am so excited and nervous and excited, but um, we're on our way and. We will get them back to the house and the brooder as quick as we can. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> this was kind of a surprise because I thought the hatch date was the 16th and they came yesterday, which was the 6th. So we will show you when we get them. <laughs> before so I don't know if we just go up here and knock maybe maybe we should knock on that door knock on it I guess so. How can there be 50 birds in that box? I don't know, but there is. Well, almost 50. 48. Whatever. I gotcha. Oh, how exciting. I just put them on my lap. You're gonna keep them on your lap? Good idea. They're not very big. True. Okay. We oh. have chicks. We have 48 chicks, and we are heading home with them. Listen to them, they sound so cute. Very chirpy. Very chirpy. They're much chirpier. Chirpy chicks. Much chirpier than we are this morning. You got that right. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of chickens in a small box. Very small box. Hopefully they all survive. Yes, I hope they're all healthy and happy. <coughs> oh. All right, we'll show you when we get home. All right, we are unboxing it. And they're in there, and they're so cute and tiny. And there they are, Oh, They look like little Christmas chicks. <laughs> I'm at Easter. Seeing dead ones on that side. They look like little Easter chicks. They all look alive too. Oh good, so they're all alive. All right. <coughs> What? They're all alive. That's good. Yeah. Sure Until they're not. We're going to do good, though. They're going to be good. Couldn't lay this out very well for a big guy. Here, I can, I can try. Are they going to jump out or what? I do not know. <coughs> We got the chicks now, honey. <laughs> yeah. I'd say, honey. I'd say. All right. So you're going to dip their beaks. Oh, look how cute. And then I'll sit them over on the, um. That water is not very deep. Is it not? not very deep at all. It's way down in there. You think it's okay? I don't know. Can't even, can't get the head in there. Oh, he liked that. Did he shiver? He got a drink. Good. Okay. Get off of me. Hmm? This is going to take a while. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they're so tiny. Oh, they're packing everything in there. Look at them exploring. 
You don't have to dip them very hard. They go after the water. Good. Oh, they're already going for the food and everything. Good. All right, bub. Got to dump a few on them into it. Yeah, look at how big his feet are. Here. I know. Cornish rock. Their feet are huge. Oh, there he goes. Good job, little guy. Get that one. He's like swimming in it. Well, they said sometimes if they get stuck in there, they can drown. So we got to watch them. Standing in his water. So for each one of them, he is checking for pasty tush. He got big drink. Yes, he did. And then giving them a sip of their miracle water or their chick booster. And then um, over there, they said it's best if they have like immediate access to feed. So um, they said you can put some out on a um, cardboard, corrugated cardboard, and that way, like everything they're running into pretty much is food. <clears throat> and then um, we have them, we put down saw chips, or I'm sorry, pine chips at first. After you give them a sip, honey, put them over there on the cardboard. Well, half of them are staying there drinking more. None of them seem to care about the food. That one's just pecking. Mm-hmm. Look at these four, three or four are just drinking and going to town. I know, right? but they didn't know the food was over there, did they? I don't know. Oh, oh. These are kind of the meatheads, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the breezers. They're the meatheads. Get out of the water. I need more space. They don't mind being picked up either. Mm -mm. They're younger than the other ones, though. Well, I guess they're about the same day. Same age. I'm going to hurry up. This takes too long. Wish I could get in there with you and help you. Still several in the box, but we're getting there. Yeah. There's a lot in the in the brooder already. I know. At least for what we're used to. Oh, oh he's so cute. I have a camera going. Yeah. Oh, you're adorable. How sweet are you? Shame they get so big so fast. Oh you're precious. You are adorable. Aww. And then we have our eggers over there. I wonder what they're thinking of all the chirping going on over here. They're over here looking at the wall. Are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't worry guys, you'll be much happier than these birds. Aww. What do you think? What's going on over here? All these peep peeps. All kinds of them. I wonder what he is. Okay, you guys, so we have had the Cornish Cross for a whole week now, and they have grown a lot. Um, we still have them on the feed, um, free feed. Um, they're on the grower. No, I'm sorry, the starter. They're on the starter feed, and they have free choice, so they can eat at any time. Tomorrow we are gonna start where we have it on 12, off 12. So that means we're gonna have them where they can eat it for 12 hours and then we take it away for 12 hours. Um, so far, thankfully, we have only lost one. Um, we think that he might have been suffocated at night because they like to pile up. And when we came in the next morning to check on them, um, he had passed away. So we lost that one. And then we have one more that um, has like a little squeaking noise. And we're not sure what that is. It's almost like he's having trouble breathing. It looks like he's trying to fall asleep, but he can't. Yeah. So we're not sure what that is. But um, other than that, they're eating good, they're drinking good, and they are growing. Is it that one right there, honey? Yes. Yeah, that's the one I thought. So he is making a little noise. Almost like he's laboring. Eyes keep shutting. Yeah. Huh. Poor little guy. I hate that. 
but the others are filling out nicely. So we will see. And we are still just, um, we started out with the peat moss and I don't like it as much as these um, pine chips because um, it actually, it smelled kind of funny and it's hard to see where they poo and where they pee. But with the pine chips, you can see it really well and you can cover it up really easily. So, and there's our chicks. We now have 47 of them. And that's on this side of the brooder. Let me show you what's on the other side of the brooder. We have our barred rocks. Hi guys. We have some Easter eggers. And then in here, we have our buff Orpingtons. And we've only had them for two days. And that is all of our chickens. We have a total of how many, honey? 66? Something like that. Yeah, 66 oh, wow. chicks. So we will keep you posted on how they're doing. And if you want to see more, be sure to hit the what, honey? Like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe and, and the notification. notification <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.